Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Lunge 2. This is episode 8. In the last episode, we took on Mootox the Bull, uh, another of Mephisto's creations. And we found out from one of the older people in Toledo, to Tovalido, <laughs> that Pierre, our, our gambling husband, um, extraordinary, has headed on over to the Howling Cave. We're going to find out more about that and try and try and save him from what's coming. So, a new area, Howling Cave. It's not a bad area. It's it's a tiny place. Like it's not a proper dungeon. So here he is. <laughs> Daddy, come back home. Wah. Please tell him to come home. Maybe he'll listen to you guys. Can't you see a little girl's crying? What kind of a father are you? What? You two again? Listen, I'm kind of down on my luck again. Think you could spare some change? Yeah, that worked out well last time. Yeah, you promised me you were going to quit gambling. Shut up, I don't have to put up with any of this. Besides, the house of happiness has just passed this tunnel here. I'm going to find happiness and nobody's going to stop me. Well, see ya. Yeah, the next section of the game is about the house of happiness. It's got another name as well, but it's pretty... I like it quite a lot, actually, this next area. Please, lady, please get my daddy and bring him home. Flint, I'm worried about Luca, so I'll stay here. You go and bring Pierre back. I say I like the area. This the odd little irritating bit about the next dungeon coming up, but... Um, yeah, is uh, I do still quite like it. Anyways, it seems like we've got a lot of money, and I guess we do. But the next town that we come to is going to have, like, three... Pretty amazing items to buy. So, let me up. <laughs> so you need to keep saving. You need to keep saving, or you're not going to be able to buy everything. I think we might have enough for one of them, the the main one that I want to get already. But I, I'm not entirely certain. So. Right. So first thing we want to do now, new type of puzzle, I guess. There are two switches, but how can we hit them both at the same time? When our sword doesn't have like a beam or anything like that. Well, you use the bomb. You chuck it down by one of the switches. You might already see what's coming. Get a torch. Chuck it on the bomb. And once it explodes, is it... Okay. We hit the bomb as well as the switch, but never mind. We'll, we'll try again. There we go. Hey. You got a little bit of leeway with it, but no, no shit done. Anyway, let's get the torch. You can see there's a tree out over there that you can burn. I don't know if maybe we should... Okay, we only need to get that far, so we only need to burn two of them. Go on, let's do it from by here. We'll try and do it from by here. Seems easier to me. We might have to do more than two if we if we have a proper look around the place in a sec, but I don't think we do. No, that seems to be about it. Okay. See, it's got the thinking music on. That's why I think of the think of it as the thinking music. <laughs> Third puzzle piece, yeah. Nine more to find. For, uh, for next combo. I didn't even go through the exit. That was odd. Anyways, next area. <laughs> this is where Pierre is headed to. It's not the House of Happiness, but... Dead Isaacs. This is what we've been collecting the darts for, the bone darts that the enemies have dropped now and again. It's a mini game, a side quest place, that you actually have to come to just for a second, but you don't have to participate in to continue the plot or anything. I went inside, but they said they don't give a hoot about my happiness. <laughs> nice. I must have took a wrong turn somewhere, but I'll find the la I'll find the house of happiness if it's the last thing I do. Good boy. Yeah, I'm out of here. Okay, so yeah, you have to come this way first, and then we have to go back into the the uh, the cave again, the Howling Cave. But we're gonna have a look at it. I don't know how many darts we actually go. I'd like to have a. A gander before we head in. Special items. Four. Oh, I thought we had more than four. Well, okay, we'll play for a little bit then. I'll just show it off. And three puzzle pieces. Yeah, like I said. So, making a bit of progress on that again, I guess. 
You ain't got no points. I can't give you nothing. Stand behind that white line if you want to throw darts. I don't mind seeing the prizes before getting started. Oh, well. But yeah, this is like the Golden Sorcerer in Final Fantasy VII, I think, in the sense that you can play for a little bit, but and it'll sort of store your score, how much you've built up, so that you can come back and just keep building and building throughout the game. And just sort of keep keep playing until you get enough points throughout the game to get the rewards you want. We'll see the rewards after this. I am really bad at this, by the way. I, I just want to get that okay. Score points continuously to win multipliers. Maximum number. Well, maximum multiplier is five. If you miss the dartboard, the multiplier goes back to one. If you get the same amount of points two times in a row, you'll earn chance shots. Okay. But um, I can't promise that we'll get everything out of this mini game. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not good at it. But the next dungeon we come to, you can sort of farm, farm for darts, and I'll try and remember to show that off, or at least talk about it. What's the point doing? Use the circle square button to throw a dart. Look at it, awful. As far from the middle as it possibly could. That's me playing darts in real life, to be fair. Just hit the wall. <laughs> or oh, someone, you know, stab someone in the eye. One of the two. Things I pressed circle and it took a sec for it to actually notice. It's a bit better. It's just so fast. I don't have reflexes for it. I'd need to get like a million darts in order to do anything. Got the minimum amount of points for that one. At least we got something. Yeah, you celebrate. You celebrate, Flint. Look how well we did. Ooh, in the black. Does that get you much? I'm not too sure. Too bad. <laughs> oh, it counts as a miss. It's just luck for me. And that's not good for the cha chance points. And there we go. We got we got ten points out of four darts. That's about as bad as it was going to go. <laughs> but there we go. Now you've seen it. We'll check out the rewards now. Alright. I got you. I deeply apologise. I'm, I'm ashamed. <laughs> you can cash in your points for prizes. Like I said, even though we've done shit this time, maybe I'll do better next time when we come back sometime. Yeah, you never know. There's some good stuff here. Pixie ring level two. If you do manage to get to the pixie ring, I would recommend not buying one because we'll be finding one anyway. Um, Panacea's totally restores HP and EP. That's good, but look how many points you need. I wouldn't waste it on that. Uh, not available. Why can't you get the amulet? <laughs> Elemental Vita. That makes sense. Why? Uh, I don't want to spoil things. It's a strange light. I'm not sure where the Vita... Oh, I know! I know! The Vita stone is for, like... It's for a side quest coming up. You need to have, like, three key items. And then you... You give them over to get... I think it's a weapon. It might be the best weapon in the game. And... All those level two rings. So... There's not that much good you. I guess the elemental Vita... The Vita stone, the main ones. Amulet also... I'm not sure what it does, to be honest. But yeah, there's not too much to go for if you don't do this mini game, I guess. You're, you're not missing out on too much. Is what I mean. You know, that's Dead Eye's axe. Nothing much else here. No jiggy pieces. Okay. As nowhere else opens up, I guess you're just meant to guess that you go back to Howling Cave. I would think either Howling Cave or Torvalido automatically. So, um, I guess Howling Cave is, is the one. And we never have to come into the Howling Cave again, I don't think. Once we've gone through now. There we go. Well, Flint. Yeah. Pierre came right through here. He kept screaming about this happy house. You, you stole it from me. You stole the house of happiness. Oh, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's psychotic. What house of happiness? just wants to be happy again. Don't play dumb with me. Take this. <laughs> Stop it. You're crazy. You and your wife really like throwing things, don't you? I was going to say, like, husband, like wife. Shut up. I'm not listening to you anymore. Get a hold of yourself, Pierre. Bah! And I find the house of happiness. I won't let either of you inside. Yeah. 
to me, this game, it isn't about the story, really. I, I find the story sort of interesting, but it's more about just enjoying your way through, I think. Because we're not even doing the main plot right now. We're not even looking for the pirate hunters or anything. Or trying to get her father, the king, back on the throne. You know, it's just it's just helping a weird guy out. <laughs> That's all it is. There we go. So now, we can get up to where he was by using <laughs> exactly what he was there. He was throwing at us. I bet he didn't intend for this to happen. Making steps with this sort of stuff. This will be a sort of common theme for puzzles throughout the game, I guess. Like, you see it now and again. You know? It's quite hard to judge how far you're throwing. I find. <laughs> As you can see. Oh well, we got up anyway. Only did the two. And that's the Howling Cave done. I don't know if we should really start the next dungeon quite yet, because it's a biggie. And there's a corker of an enemy at the end of it. Of a boss. Done web. Yeah. Or the House of Happiness. Time to see how happy <laughs> it makes people. <laughs> it's so easy to get stuck here. It's huge. It's bloody huge. It's maze-like to me. There's a house with steel grey and everything. That's not a happy colour. This must be the house of happiness that Pierre was talking about. It doesn't look very happy to me, exactly. Anyway, let's look around. Right, screw these guys, let's go. <laughs> Who needs the queue? Dumb web. Here we go. Another one of those green things. Weird. So we're going to go... Mm, should we go th No, we're going to go up the ladder. And if we go through the door on the right there... I do want to do this first. And follow the balcony all the way across. There's a couple of, like, tricky sort of puzzle pieces to get you. Uh, actually, let's go in this one. As in, time-consuming, a little bit. Not too bad, but, you know, it's there. Um, try this way. There it is, that's what I was looking for, the save point. It's quite easy to miss the save point, I think. Yeah, there are actually multiple save points in this place, so, you know, that's a good thing. But it does show that it's going to be a biggie. This is a hard one to do for me. Just make sure. Okay, go. Oh, first time. Nice. I, I normally take time and time again. If you fall down, you can just climb up the ladder and try again. There's nothing else down there. We might actually have to do that now. Okay, that seems to be about it. So let's head on back outside now. I don't think there's much else in this place. It's a door over there, but I don't think we can do much with it yet. There's, there's going to be a lot of doors here that are sort of... Blocked. I don't want to say the term locked because that sounds like a key, but it's not like that. You have to find a way to unlock all the doors and everything. Trash chest player, another herb. Nice, we've needed some of them and there'll be plenty of trash chests with them in them. It might have been good for us to go back out and buy some because the boss, like I said, is quite tough. But. Uh, okay, let's go in the other. It's a tricky little room. Like I said, there are a couple of trash chests around with herbs in. Well, this has some. And I want to get every one of them. Ooh, five darts. With <laughs> how I did out there, then maybe that's not enough. See the conveyor belts, but you can actually just <laughs> run across them. It don't matter what direction they're in. Easy puzzle piece. I imagine when they first made this game, they wanted this to be one of those rooms that are having a lot of games where the conveyor belts, you just move in the direction, you can't change direction once you're on them. Like in. Some of the Pokemon gyms and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I imagine so. Anyway, that was an easy puzzle piece. Two easy enough puzzle pieces. Just one in mind that I go that's a bit... Um, yeah. <laughs> There's one in mind that I have. That's shit. Yay, we're out. This is where 
I was mentioning earlier, you can find uh, spider enemies, which give a lot of darts. Not necessarily every time, shit. Oh my god, come on now. Then it's not that hard to kill them. Up. Oh. You won't kill us. Here we go. This area actually reminds me of Bob-On Bob -on Battlefield from iOS 64. The colour of the earth around it. Um, the balls going around, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We didn't get a dart that time, but you can. It's a pretty common thing. So I've been told. I am. This isn't a game that I've played a lot of the side quests for. I never went all out with the bone darts or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, dart. See? See? Hold on. Right, where should we go now? I mean, there's that way, which leads to nothing. Oof! I want to have a look around before going into any of the obvious sort of looking ways to go. Okay, it's nothing around here. It's the giant double door. Oh no, I'm not for that. Giant double doors today. But not yet. Not yet. Oh. Oh, I blocked it. I didn't even realise we could do that. Losing a lot of health here. Might have to use a herb soon. You know, I'd rather the money than the darts. <laughs> I'd rather just be able to buy stuff than have to play mini games for it. Okay. We head on up by here. And in this very first door, that's where we want to go for now. What's going on here? Nobody said anything about this. Here alive. Yes. Flint! 
Flint, run away! To be fair, Pierre looked quite happy <laughs> at the end. <laughs> um, yeah, it's sort of a cult. Just chuck keys in people who are unhappy and go there looking for some sort of solution to their life problems. And But now we've lost Alexia. Always fun. Not such a bad thing. <laughs> Servants, destroy the interloper. Okay, okay, calm down. They're coming down to kill all, don't worry. Oh. Three enemies at once. Okay, we've got to go down, so... And go for him first. I did press X to jump down, but... Didn't want him. He didn't want him. Here we go. See if he charges, if not. There we go. One down quite easily. I like how I put, like, the boss music on. <laughs> Oof, shit. Quick. Ho, ho, ho. The herbs are starting to be a bit shit now, to be fair. 100 HP. When your max is... 425. Ooh, a bit of health. Nice. And there we go. Hold on. Easy times. Okay, so we can go... Well, we might as well go out the door that just unlocked, right? <laughs> Bit risky standing on that, that platform. Oh, shit. I was trying to rush here by pressing X repeatedly to go up. But not the best idea in the world. Oh, shit, shit. Um, yeah, I want to get that switch first. That made me nervous. Shit. Okay. I don't know if I want to go down now. No, we're going to leave now. If I do this wrong, I'll just cut. But I think, because we press our switch, it'll open a couple of doors. So, if we go back up where we came from. Ah, it, oh, okay. So, are there any other exits in here? I don't think we can unlock any doors yet, so I think we need to just... Okay, I'm back. A lot of the doors are blocked up now, so it's not there's not much we can really do, so go across. Oh shit, you don't want to get caught in that. You go back out, I think, to where the spiders were. Right, so you can use this as a stepping stone now to get up and jump on up. You can. <laughs> so we need to go for all these switches, and I think that unlocks all the doors. A herb. If I went through that text a bit quick. It was a hoop. Uh, okay, let's keep, keep looking down through these switches and one over here. I think you can actually attack those things. No? Well, I know it's a way of sort of stopping them, freezing them, so it makes it a bit easier. But we just haven't got access to that yet. Oh, shit. There you go. That's all four done. All doors now unlocked, so we can go back out the way we came. <laughs> Just high enough. We can go back out the way we came. I want to get a puzzle piece, by the way. That's what this is for. It'll be worth it, I'm sure. Oh, I saw trash chest. Yeah, nice. So we're going to be getting through them by the looks of it. In this dungeon. Oi, oi, ladder. Flint. <laughs> <laughs> right, so don't want to go in. Oh, we do. We do want to go in that one. And back through 
to the entrance that we came through in this room as well. Uh, okay, if we go this way. And now that this door is unlocked, it's a bit out of the way so I can see why people would miss this puzzle piece. I know I have before. This looks like a nice room. Um, okay. I know where we need to go next. We need to get back now to the control room. Which is only a couple of seconds away, so I was thinking of cutting at this point, but it's not far enough, I don't think. Why do you have to climb? Just <laughs> run over the ladder, kind of thing. Right. Um, yeah, through here. Just trying to think. Right, so where the spikes were... We saw the spikes coming through the floor. It was like up a ladder over on the other side somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, avoid that, avoid that. Up these steps. There's a few ways of getting everywhere in this room in there, to be fair, so... I don't know. Let me check. Yeah, this is where we want to go. In here. Ooh, progress with Alexia. Eh? <laughs> oh, oh, Christ. I'm trying to grab my pen and... <laughs> I know you're there, boy. If you want the princess, come down and get her. Oh, it's leading us somewhere. Hi, princess. You'll be coming with me. Ugh. Not much choice. I'll be waiting for you, boy. Okay. So we have to go down. There's not much choice about that. And we have to go through this way this time. Ah, back outside with a... Hmm. Well, back outside, you know. I know there should be... a couple of enemies around here. I'm just having a look around to see if there are. But it doesn't seem to be, actually... I'll be left. That wasn't where I meant to go then. Uh, back in. But because that door's open, it'll be a bit easier for us, so it's not, it's not a huge inconvenience or anything. Now we know. There must be something else out here then. Surely. But it's, it's not... Okay, so we'll go, I guess, this way instead. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Let's just kill off the enemies a sec. I want to kill the spiders. Well, I want to kill the enemies. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I want to kill him alive. I, I want to keep him alive. He's a bomber. Which is not always a bad thing. Right, so spider's down. I want to kill off one of these bomb enemies, because there is another one in the room. You can see him up there. <laughs> He's got a bit of health. Time it just right, you miss the invincibility frames and you can get your attack straight in before he has the chance to do anything. Pretty good. Oh my god. There <laughs> we go. Like a mini boss in the room, right? Next up. I'm use the bomber for this wall up by here. Come on. That's the one. Easy times. 
The pixie ring. Not even just a puzzle piece. It's the pixie ring. You know we could have bought a pixie ring, pixie ring and dead his axe. Well, there you go. I know that was level two, but... Allows you to float in mid-air, so you double jump. You, you don't really double jump, but... You press X again while in mid-air and you can float. Shoot green traps with element shot and something will happen. Those green statues and stuff we've been seeing around the place. Yeah. So straight away, I'm going to try and... I'm going to chuck it in the... Yeah, it's a new option in menu. I'm going to chuck it here. Pocket it instead of... I mean, know that. There's no replace system in this game, is it? So I'm going to give it to the compass. For now, at least. Here we go. So if I show you, we've now got EP as well, which is MP. There we go. 10, M 10 EP a time. Which might not seem too bad, but it can be. Remember in Dead Eyes Axe, one of the rewards as well was like a... Uh, it was a... Uh, elemental something? Well, yeah, that boosts your EP. I don't know how much buy, but it does. I don't know why I'm killing him. We'll be leaving the room now. <laughs> Too much health. Gets tedious at that point. Anyway, let's get out here. Back to where we came. And in this next room, the room before this one, there was a green thingy. There it is. Just shoot it. Let's see, here we go. And let's follow where Alexia and that weird person went. Mineshaft, remember this mineshaft. We'll be coming back here quite a bit. It's like the central hub. Sort of like the water temple in Twilight Princess, Zelda, or, you know, something like that. Okay, so we can go this way. Because all the doors are locked, and you have to do certain... Uh, certain things on each floor before you can progress. Before you, a door unlocks on the next floor up, kind of thing. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever. But there we go. Okay, a healing point and a door. <laughs> a save point. A door, my ass. There's another way to go out of this room, but that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> so, heal on up. We're gonna save. And I think I'll leave it there. This will be uh, done where 2 for the save point, I think. Um, and I'm gonna have food as well, so. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit. For, I think, the rest of Dunweb. We might, or we might make it to a save point before the boss. Um, not too sure yet. It's a biggie, you know. Let's get for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.